What's up everyone? I'm uh, enjoying the spring weather here and uh, seeing a lot of people are starting to wear these kinds of masks. These are Japanese Pitta masks. They're pretty popular across Asia in uh, Japan, Thailand, China, Philippines. But are they any good? They look cool. They're pretty, pretty uh, flexible, pretty comfortable, pretty breathable. But do they actually work at filtering out what we're worried about? Things like pollen, things like viruses. How good are they at actually capturing or filtering particles? And can they actually protect against the coronavirus? First things first, let's look at how well these masks filter out pollen. If you look online, these masks, they're advertised as good during the hay fever season, good for capturing pollen, that's PM10. So larger particles inside. To answer that question, we can use one of these devices. I've got my trusty MET1 particle counter here. This can measure different size particles. And we can actually measure how much of the particles are getting through this mask. I've already gone ahead and done these tests. And what we found is that these masks, are pretty good at capturing PM10 pollen. They can capture over 99% give or take of these larger particles. So these kind of masks, if you're wearing them to keep away from pollen or because of hay fever, they work pretty well. So if that's all you're worried about, throw these masks on. But how about what we're all really worried about right now, which is viruses and coronavirus. Are these masks any good at capturing those smaller particles? This device here can measure down to 0.3 microns. Just how small is that? Well, the coronavirus is about 0.1, but when it comes in water droplets, it can get a little bit bigger, so up to 0.2, 0.3 microns. So this, this can measure roughly the same size as coronavirus to see whether or not these masks are any good at filtering them. The answer you've all been waiting for, these masks, absolutely hopeless. Sorry, that wasn't a very good throw. Now, if we're wearing these masks and we're talking whilst we're wearing them, it's possible they will stop some water spray, water droplets from coming out, or potentially from someone who's talking with us in close range from water droplets getting in. But the virus itself, if the virus is in the air, they're not very good. So to be perfectly honest, people who are wearing these, A, you're not protecting yourself, and if you see someone else wearing them, they're not necessarily protecting you from spreading any viruses. Is it just the Pitta mask? Is it just this mask that's absolutely hopeless at protecting against viruses? Well, uh, no, there are definitely other similar masks that we've tested. You can go find our data online that aren't great at filtering out viruses, but these Pitta masks probably come at the bottom of the list as least effective at capturing viruses. In fact, looking at the data, our tests showed that the Pitta masks were unable to filter anything smaller than 0.5 microns in size. There are definitely some better alternatives, things like surgical masks and 95 masks. Now I will give the Japanese Pitta company the benefit of the doubt. They don't advertise them as filtering out viruses. They say they're good for pollen, which as we know is larger size particles, but they don't say anything about virus protection. So I would take that as a sign, don't wear these masks if you're in confined spaces, closed spaces. If you're worried about virus transmission, stay away from these pitta masks. That's it for me, I'll leave it there. If any of you have questions or wanna know anything more about these masks or another kind of mask, leave a comment below and uh, I will get answering that. Thank you everyone and breathe safe. Hey guys, Paddy again. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell notification below to make sure you get the latest news and stay up to date on the best ways to protect your health, your body, from everything we breathe.